Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you are looking to do retrieval augmented generation or RAG in an easy way on your local system, then maybe have a look at this tool called as Kotaman. Kotaman is a word from Japanese language. It means good luck gate. Kota means good luck and Imon means gate. This is what I have been told. If I am wrong, please correct me in the comments. Anyway, this is an open source tool which does only one thing and that is to offer you a clean and customizable rag where you can talk with your own documents. If you don't know what rag is, in very simple words, whenever you provide the context around your own data, your own documents to the large language models, it means you are creating a rag because all of these LLMs, they have been trained on huge amount of data, but that data not does it contain your own custom company's data or your personal data. If you want to extract intelligence out of that data and if you want to give that data as a context to the query being, queries being asked from LLM, then you need to do the rag in, in which you take your data, you chunk it or split it, you convert it into numerical representation, you store it in the vector store and then whenever then user asks a query, the data is retrieved from that vector store in terms of similarity and there are few other algorithms and then sim that similar data is augmented with a user's query and given to LLM and that is how LLM's responses are then more grounded and focused on your own data. So that is what RAG is all about. So in this video, we are going to install this Kotaman tool locally on our system and then we will see how it works. One problem with this project is that, uh, and that is the problem with many open source projects, unfortunately, is that many of the instructions in the GitHub repo are outdated. For example, there are few instructions which are for the end users, but if you apply them, they won't work. So hopefully this video will help you in order to get it installed locally and then we will see how it works. Before that, let's, um, let me allow to uh, offer a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Let me take you to my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 2.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. First up, let me create a virtual environment with Python 3.10. Let me run it. It is going to take a bit of a time to get activated. So let's wait. And the Conda environment is activated. Next up, let's git clone the repo and then cd into it. That is done. Let me clear the screen. The next step is to install some of the prerequisites from this repo. And for that, let me paste the pip command where I am installing everything from this Kotaman. So let's wait for it to finish. And again, this is going to take a bit of a time. It installs so many things. And that is done. Took a fair bit of time, around five minutes to get that installed. And we need to install a few more prerequisites from this libs. So let me run it. And let's wait for it to finish. This is again going to take a bit of a time. Okay, that is good. This was quick. Let me clear the screen. Next thing we need to do is to set our environment. So they already provide a .env file in the root directory of repo. So just to vi.env and you will see, sorry, if you go to the top that you can set your API in OpenAI here. Of course, you would need the OpenAI key, which you can grab from OpenAI and that's a paid option. And then this is the Azure. If you are using OpenAI in the Azure cloud or for Cohere, or for any local model with Llama CPP or Python. And so it means that you would need Nomic embed for that, or you could go with the graph rag. So what I'm going to do in this one, I'm just going to use graph rag, but if you have Llama CPP running, you can download these models and then run it with the graph rag uh, or this uh, Kotaman. But I'm going to go with the graph rag in this one. Similarly, you can also grab your PDF JS, which I will show you how you can do that. So this is primarily for in-browser viewing of PDF files. 
so let me set my key here and then i will save the file and clear the screen so i have set my key here now next up if you want to set in browser pdf viewer what you need to do is to go to this directory okay there is none here so we'll just go manually clips cd ktem again ktem and then assets and now do ls-ltr there is no pre-built directory so we'll just create a pre-built okay oops i just made a typo here so i'll just say make directory pre-built and cd pre-built let's clear the screen and now here what we need to do we need to download this pdf js extension let me paste the link here and by the way this is available in their github repo which you can just simply get it and this should have been done by here there you go and all you need to do is to just simply unzip it here and that is done cool so now we have our extension too so let's go back and now all the installation is done if you do ls-ltr here you will see that they already have provided uh, app.py and this is the file which we need to run in order to start it and by the way you can even uh, run it with the docker so now all you need to do is to run this python3 app.py in order to start it so let me run it okay it has you see that it has opened it in the browser here and I have used the user admin and password is also admin. And this is a console of Kotaman in front of you. And now in order to do, do the rag, all you need to do is to just upload your file from here from left. So for example, if I just go grab one of my own PDF file and I'm just going to go with this PDF file. Hopefully it is going to, yep. So it has been uploaded as you can see, and it has also indexing it which means that it is just storing it in the vector store after converting it to vectors you just have to wait for a bit that is done and then you can see that indexing has been completed and now if you want to chat with it all you need to do is to just uh, chat with it here you can uh, so for example if i ask it who is Fahad Mirza because that file just contains information about myself so you see as soon as i pressed enter it set the thinking and then uh, on the right hand side due to the extension which we uploaded it is showing us the um, pdf file and then also the relevant score is one so it means that it found a perfect match and it has given us the data from my own file because otherwise the model doesn't know about me right and it is using a graph rag at the back end which is quite cool so if you click on files here at the top you will see that this is the file we have uploaded and this is the loader and all that stuff it is telling us about you can upload many files here as many you like you can uh, if you have changed your file you want to re-index it you can do that and these are all the file types which are supported like png jpeg and all that stuff if you click on resources again so we are using graph rack so that is why it is sh showing us there if you want to change your llm so you see I'm using uh, Olama is not default, but you can make it and I will shortly show you how. You can also add more if you like from other vendors like Lama App Chat, Azure Chat OpenAI and all that stuff. And I think this is going to increase. This is embedding um, model which it is using. So embedding model, it converts your text into numerical representations and it's a multi-user stuff. So. Right now we have admin users with the password admin. You can change it, of course, just by going in settings. And from there, if you click on user setting, you can change your password and you can create more users. Now, this is a retrieval one. This is what I was referring to. So you can just keep file loader as is, but if you want, you can use Adobe or Azure document intelligence or LLM one. You can go with Olama here. You see, uh, instead of open here, you can go with Olama. And then you can just simply save your changes. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest and fastest tool to run large language models locally. It's all free. 
and you can use lot of models there so if i quickly open a new window in my terminal and do olama list there you will see that olama is already running and if you don't know how to install olama i have done heaps of videos on it so you see that i have this llama 3.1 running and for embedding model i have not only nomic embed text which is a very fine model but also another good model mx by i could use any one of them to do the embedding there okay so this is what olama settings are which you can easily use with this and graph rag and then this is a graph rag collection just go with a uh, file loader local one no need to go or you so you know that in the graph rag we have the local search or we have the global search with the internet again i have done heaps of videos on graph rag how to do this in, uh, locally architecture if you're interested please search the channel now you can use it with olama you can use it with open ai and azure so you see how easy it is to do the rack with your own data by using this gotaman tool and after setting that olama which we saved you see when i asked it where fahad mirza lives now it has told me fahad mirza lives in sydney australia and then you can of course you know uh, thumbs up thumbs down you can also regenerate if you like and again you have your document on the right hand side so really like this stuff I think um, does one thing and does it very nicely. So very impressive. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have already subscribed, please share it among your network, as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.